Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, it's kind of cold and snowy out today, so I thought I would make some nice hot soup. And uh, I'm going to make some potato and leek soup. It's kind of a classic soup, but I've got a little twist on it with the addition of some uh, parsnips and the carrots uh, to add a little bit of zing and a little more color. So let's take a look at the ingredients right now. I've already done up the prep ahead of time, and uh, I'll show you how to cut these leeks in case you've never done it before. But, uh, all right, here are the ingredients. We've got two small potatoes, uh, peeled and diced. We got two um, probably medium-sized leek julienne. One small parsnip diced. This will give a nice peppery flavor. Uh, one small carrot diced. About three quarters of a stock of celery. We've got about two tablespoons of butter. Uh, about two tablespoons of Finely minced parsley, that will add some color and nice fresh flavor. A couple of cups of vegetable stock. And I'm going to be using half and half to finish it off. You could use heavy cream or skim milk, whatever you like, uh, however much fat you want to put into this. We're also going to be adding some butter later to garnish and give it a nice creamy uh, feel in the mouth. So uh, let me get my pan heated up and we'll start cooking this soup up. It's real easy. Okay, leeks are real easy to cut up, but a lot of people have never used them before, and uh, they are kind of notorious for being dirty on the inside. So what I'm going to do is cut off this uh, fringe top here. I don't really need that. And then I uh, usually cut the leek off right where it starts to split here, uh, from the green part into the part that splits off. I'm going to cut right in there. And this is going to be where most of your dirt is here. Here we go. And there you got this. We're just going to cut it right in half. And we'll probably find some dirt up in here. Yeah, look at these leaves here. You can see the dirt is hiding in those leaves. So all you got to do, uh, not they're cut in half, is run them under a little bit of cold water, separate the leaves a little bit, and uh, get that dirt right out of there. So now that they're clean, you might want to get out maybe the, the outside layer of the leaf before you cut it. That might be a little tough. And uh, just to be safe, you might want to roll them over, too, because the knife will go through easier on this side. And then uh, we're just going to julienne them. I might have a little bit of an angle. Get them nice and thin. All right. Easy as that. These are a little bit long, so I'm going to cut them in half for this recipe. Do the same thing over here. Keep those fingers out of the way. As long as you make that claw, you shouldn't cut yourself. There they go. We've got some easy julienne leeks right there. All right, here we are. We're ready to go. Now, this is probably my favorite part of cooking, right? Well, maybe except for the part right when it's finished. But right before you start, after you got everything set up and ready to go, you know you got everything ready, and you know it's going to turn out good because you're all ready to go. So I've got this medium-sized saucepan. Heating up over a medium heat, and I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of butter, uh, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Get that to melt, and then we're going to put the leeks in there. Now, we don't want to brown the leeks. We're just going to saute them for a few minutes until they turn soft and a little more tender, start to release some of their flavor. So that will take about... Oh, three to four minutes, and I'll come back when uh, things are nice and soft, and we'll add the rest of these root vegetables and get them started to cook. All right, these are almost ready, and boy, does this smell good. It's got a nice oniony flavor, but it's a little more, uh, that was a little green or something, boy. It's a nice change from regular onions, because I eat onions every day. So here we got some nice leeks. They're nice and soft and a little bit translucent now, and we can start adding the rest of these ingredients. I'm actually going to add a little bit more butter to make sure it doesn't stick, because this isn't the best pan. Plus, I like butter anyway. <laughs> so uh, we're going to add the celery, the carrots. 
The parsnips, my secret ingredient. <laughs> I love parsnips. No one ever knows what they are at the grocery store, so uh, obviously not too many people buy them anymore. I love to make any kind of soup with a parsnip stew. I'm going to have to make a parsnip chili one of these days. That would be a good experiment. So we're going to saute these veggies, uh, the carrot, celery, leek, and parsnips for about uh, two or three more minutes to get those to start cooking before we put the potatoes in. Okay, now that we got the heat going on these uh, root beds, we're going to add the two small diced potatoes. And we'll saute these for a couple more minutes. Also, I'm going to add some more butter too. That's about two tablespoons of butter total so far. <laughs> now, this isn't the healthiest of recipes when I get done with it, but uh, if you use skim milk and leave out most of this butter, um, it will be really healthy. So, let's uh, saute these potatoes for uh, two or three minutes. Now, make sure you don't start browning the leeks because uh, you don't want to start burning them. We're going to garnish with some fried leeks to get that nice crispy taste. So you don't want to brown them right now. All right, those potatoes have been cooking for a couple minutes again. And uh, this is ready to go. Now these are nice and warm, so I want to make sure the stock's nice and warm. I used real hot water when I made this, since it's vegetable stock. So it shouldn't cool down the mixture too much. And I'm going to add about two cups of that. And we want to bring this to a boil. Let it boil for about five minutes or so, and then bring it down to a simmer. Okay, we got the soup at a nice boil, and uh, it's been going for about four or five minutes. And now I'm just going to turn it down and let it simmer at a low boil or a high simmer for about a half an hour. And in the meantime, I'm heating up a little uh, oil and butter over here, and I'm going to have some leeks that I saved off. But these are actually kind of the more bitter, greener end of the leeks. And uh, I'm going to fry these off, brown them up, use them as a garnish when we finish the soup. So we'll come back in about a half hour when the soup is ready to finish off with the cream and butter. Okay, this soup has been going at a low boil for about 25 minutes, so I want to check it and uh, see if the potatoes are done yet, see if we're ready for the next step. I think they probably are. We just want them just to be tender to eat, but not mushy. Mm. Mm. Boy, you really need smell vision <laughs> Someday they got to invent it, just for giggles. Because boy, does that smell good. All right, I'm going to give these about another five minutes. They're not quite ready yet. So another five minutes at a low boil. Okay, I think this is ready now. Uh, the liquid is reduced way down, so it's just barely covering the potatoes. The potatoes are nice and soft. Everything else is nice and soft. The flavors are blended. And uh, next step is just to add the cream and a few light seasonings. Okay, what you want to do now is turn the heat down a little bit. Uh, to about medium. Okay, we got some half and half. Now I'm going to pour this in cold, uh, just so it'll actually cool in this soup a little bit. That way I won't have to worry about scalding the milk or anything, or the cream. So I'm just going to put a little bit in at first here, to start to cool this down a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to put the rest of this in. I'm probably going to use about half of this, so half a pint of half and half. That's a lot of hash. <laughs> a little more. I'm going to let this reduce a bit. And uh, also I'm going to add about a tablespoon of parsley, fine chopped parsley. Some white pepper. You can use black, of course, if you like, but since this is a white soup, might as well. I just bought this the other day. I never had white pepper in my kitchen before. I don't know why. Always had it at work, but never at home. And uh, just some salt, too. Uh, maybe part of a tablespoon, half a tablespoon. Salt to taste. And once again, we're going to let this simmer. Yeah, a little more parsley, too. It's a nice color in there. So I'm going to leave that on a low simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes. Come back and uh, see if it's picking up at all. If you like a little thicker, you could even 
Just kind of mash some of these potatoes in here up, pick up the potato and release some of the starches, and that'll help thicken it up. But I don't mind the thinner soup, so I'm not going to do that too much. I like chunks. So we'll let that go simmer for about 15 minutes, and then we'll check it. All right, so this was uh, simmering for about 15 minutes with a half and half in there, and it's ready to go. It's thickened up a little bit. It's got a great smell coming, and I can't wait to try it out. And I've already did some up over here with some uh, the garnish of the fried leeks. I had a little butter, and uh, the served with some bread. Potato bread, actually. I got freaking King Supers. <laughs>